Okay, the first thing you will do is to go to Google Drive, click on Create, and Spreadsheet. Click on the title, and change it to 1C, sorry, 2B Toy Survey. That's where you're going to call your spreadsheet. All right, and then we will go ahead and type type of toy for the first cell. And next to that, we'll type number. So on this column will be all the toys that we voted for. And then the, oh, sorry. And then the amount of um, people who voted for that toy. So let's say, for example, we have action figures, blocks, science kits, cars, stuffed toys, instruments, electronics, uh, and board games. Okay, and then we would type in the number of people who voted for each of the toys. So let's say five people really like action figures, and then continue on. Whoops, that's a lot. All right. After you're done with that, you can go ahead and highlight uh, your cells and then change the font style. You can choose anything you want and then make your font a little bigger. So I'll make it 14. And go ahead and adjust the columns. Make sure you you're not you're actually hovering over the the side of the column and then you'll see that your arrow will change into an arrow that's pointing to the right and so that's how you adjust your columns all right and then you will highlight the columns to change their cell color or oh, sorry you'll highlight the you highlight the cells to change their color. So instead of going here, text color, you'll go to fill color. It's a bucket. And choose any of the light colors because you want to be able to see the font. There you go. Um, I want to change all the toys, cells, like that, and then the numbers. There you go. And then you can also, because we want to kind of distinguish uh, the titles up here with the information below, so I'll just go ahead and highlight those two and make it bold. Now that you have finished your chart, go ahead and highlight the data in your chart and then go, go to insert and chart. So you can use your data to create a chart. Um, so right now this is the bar chart. You can actually go to charts up here and change it to column. And then you can also customize. So here is the title. I'm going to change it to Toy survey, change the size and the color. You can also change the font style and choose the background. And there are other customizations you can do. And finally, you just insert. You can drag your chart 
to any place you want on your uh, spreadsheet. So there you go. Now we have the chart. We now want an image or a picture um, of one of the types of toys that you like. So for me, I believe I chose electronics. So in an open cell, cell that's empty, uh, you're going to click on it and then you're going to go to insert drawing. And here you can just draw your image. All right, so I'm going to draw a, a laptop. We have different types of lines. I'm going to use polyline because it connects the lines for you. And it is important to note that you can only color in or fill in objects that are closed. So if I do just line, I wouldn't be able to color this image because it is not closed. I recommend you using, for straight uh, shapes, I would recommend using polyline. All right, so I'm going to continue. There you go. And inside, I, need, I will need the screen. Oops. All right. Now, I need to use the select tool, and that selects any shape that you want to change, basically the color. So I'm going to use silver, and this one black. My laptop color will be dark gray. All right, so there you go. There's my laptop. Um, maybe I can also put in a mouse. And for mouse, I would recommend using or any curved shape using curve. And then connect it. And then you can color it in. I'll make it white. And there's also a tool called Scribble. This is just any pencil or pen tool. There you go. You can also include shapes. And again, you can fill this shape with a color because it is a closed shape. Uh, you can also add arrows, callouts, and equations. But I think shapes will be the most valuable for you. And it is also important to note that anytime you want to move a shape, you need to be uh, you need to be using the select tool. So here I can move it. I can move this around. And but if you are using a line tool and you decide to move this circle, it won't work. So you have to be on the select tool. Also, if you make a mistake. Let's say you highlight everything and you press delete. Remember to use undo, command Z. That is very important. After you are done, go ahead and click save and close. And your image is right there. And you can also resize your image. And to move it, you would need to click on the top area right here of the image. And that's how you drag it around. 
So you should have on your spreadsheet a chart, your bar chart or bar graph, and an image.